Hello, my name is Chelsea and I'm going to show you how to raise a sales invoice using QuickBooks Online. To open the sales invoice screen, click New and then in the first column, click Invoice. First, you will need to select your customer. If your customer has not already been set up on QuickBooks, please see my other video, How to Create Customers and Suppliers. So I'm going to choose my customer as Tommy Sell. So I'll just type his name in and pick him from the list. When I set up my customer, I entered his address and email address, so that is all pre-populated for me, as you can see here and here. If these details needed to be changed for this transaction, you can overtype them if needed. I will set my terms as due on receipt, as I don't give this customer any credit. However, you can choose the terms for the individual customer from the drop-down. You can also make your own ones using the Add New button under the drop-down if none of the standards are appropriate for your company. I will then choose the date for my invoice, so I'm going to raise this using the date of the 31st of March and my due date automatically updates based on the terms I've chosen. Next I will choose the type of sale from my drop down of products and services, so I'm going to choose sales. I will then add a brief description of the work I completed, so I built a shed for this customer, so I'll put built a shed at the bottom of the garden in my description box. In the amount, I'm going to put the net amount of the job because my invoice is set up with the amounts being exclusive of tax. If I wanted to enter the gross amount into this box, from this drop down I would need to choose inclusive of tax and then my invoice would work on this number here being the gross for my invoice. But for mine, I'm going to put the net amount in so I'm going to leave my amounts as exclusive of tax. The amount of this job was £2,056.79. There was 20% of that on this job, so I'll choose that from the VAT drop down. QuickBooks then calculates the VAT for me and shows me that the invoice total is £2,468.15. If your company uses a day rate or an hourly rate, you could put two in this quantity box. And 55 in the rate box if you charged say 55 pounds an hour and QuickBooks would then work out the total for you but my fee is a one-off so I'm going to leave it as it is. There is also the option to put a message on the invoice in this box here and a lot of companies put their bank details in here so if I just put company bank details and there's also a message box that goes out on any statements that get sent from the software. In the bottom right hand corner, QuickBooks gives you the option to save and send the invoice, which will email the invoice directly from the software to your client. But in this drop down, it also gives you the options to save and create a new invoice, save and close, save and share the link, or save and share via WhatsApp. For this invoice, I want to save and send, so I will click that. QuickBooks then shows me the email that my customer will receive, and I can modify it in these boxes if I need to. And then I can save and close, and the invoice has been sent. QuickBooks also has the feature on each invoice, which allows you to see the status of each invoice and whether it's been viewed by your customer. So if we go under Sales, and then if we find Tommy Sales' last invoice, if we go into his customer account and this last invoice, if I open that, In this area here, we can see that he's viewed his invoice. So we sent it two days ago on the 20th of April 2021, and he has viewed it on the 22nd of April 2021. This updates every time the invoice is opened, so it's a good way to check whether your customer has received your invoice. If you have any queries or comments, do leave them below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.